It would take years to tunnel a place this big. Imagine the machines they used. That's one way to light a room. The atmosphere processor we found before didn't need all these steps. Dad just interfaced with it directly. And it didn't work out so great. Direct intervention was necessary in that case, but clearly unwise. is defensive in nature. Conduit splits and goes through each of those devices. Interfacing may complete the circuit and allow the well to open. If it gets us to the system lockdown, let's try. Okay, let's hit the other console and complete that circuit. deeper. indicate the vault has been offline for several hundred years. Around the time the Scourge appeared? That can't be a coincidence. Maybe the Scourge is why all this tech was abandoned? not even enough power for the door.
gauntlet, or maybe a hand tool. And it doubles as a weapon. Extra handy. Crap. The conduit sprang a leak. Right over the console. If you try interfacing, you'll burn your hands off. And no fluid means no power. Damn it. Maybe that's why those devices up above were turned off. We're not turning back now. There has to be some way to fix the leak. Ryder! Up here! What happened? I can't get indoors to work. The conduit's breached. Hey, wait! The observers were using weird laser frequencies to fix a broken wall back there. I can send the frequencies to your Omnitool. Maybe they can patch up the conduit? And... received! I'll give them a shot! The system's responding to those frequencies! Just a patch job, but it should hold! Nice work! If it's fixed, that console should work now! Like it worked. There's even a bridge. You're a pal, Ryder. Where are you going? We've got to be close to the system lockdown by now. First one gets the glory. We'll catch up if we got that door working too. Nowhere to go but down. That did it. Watch your step. It's still a long drop. Fun had messed up my eyes. No sunlight, no water. They should all be dead. The planet's a wasteland, but maybe they're just hardy. The source of the system lockdown may yield more information. We appear to be close. doesn't test fly the jump jets, nothing will.
that's the right way. We could reach it if we backtrack. Observers coming up at us! Armor hydraulics compensating. Oh, no, I'm okay. We're two gravity wells down already, and this place goes even deeper. What's at the bottom? If there is a bottom, who says it doesn't go down to the core? Too far, even for jump jets. That is cool. Huge. I see one thing, I'm probably missing three more. Feel that? This whole platform's resonating with something. We must be close. Question. This is the heart of the vault. I've never seen anything like it. All conduits converge here, Pathfinder. That must be the lockdown console.
Any thoughts, Sam? Unknown. Though it appears related to the lockdown, an in-depth study may reveal its purpose. The system lockdown is disabled. The vault and the atmosphere processor should return to full operation. Ryder, you fixed the lockdown, didn't you? The whole place is lighting up. Power readings are off the chart. Really, really off the chart. But if it's back online, we should be good to... Should we... Go! KB, get back to the entrance now! I saw it! What is that thing? Don't risk it, just go! Watch out, Fizz! I'm back, why did I look back? is attempting surface reconnection. Vault restart is now complete. That was... Talk about a rush! What was that... field? I know a trap when I see one. An immune response? Maybe one last scrub for startup? This place is full of surprises. Nothing like outrunning death. Or reactivating a huge mysterious vault. Nice going. Atmosphere processor is online. Recovering last console activity. Is that the Helios cluster? Yeah. There we are. That's Eos. Something happened. Because we restarted the system? If that light is us, then all these points could be vaults on other worlds. Dormant like this one. Maybe. 
But why is there a whole network of them? What's all this for? This tech can create observers from nowhere or ravage a whole planet. And that's just what we've seen. The bots, those plants back there, the atmosphere processors. I once did supply runs for a council team that was seeding some ice planet's atmosphere trying to melt the ice caps. To help it support life. Then maybe the first processor we saw was broken. Destroying that planet instead of... Is that what these builders were trying to do? Make worlds habitable? Even terraform a whole cluster? Hey, look there. That's different. Maybe it's active? Well, we've got to go see. Sam? Extrapolating. These coordinates lie beyond the space we have currently surveyed, Pathfinder. Mark it on our charts. We need more to go on. Let's head up to the surface. I could use some fresh air. Look at that sky. How? No atmosphere processor works that fast. If this effect is representative, Pathfinder, air and moisture patterns will show noticeable improvement. EOS could support an outpost. A foothold. That's all we need. Just enough to begin. This remnant technology could be the key to our survival, if we can control it. You can. Kind of. Still, wouldn't hurt to find a manual. We've got a lead. Sam marked it on the charts down there. That site is active, whatever it is. Who knows what we'll find there. We? You want to come along? I want to know what makes the Remnant tick. You've got a key to their technology. Or a crowbar, at least. I don't know. We're a team. You like working solo. Sure, but we don't have to be joined at the hip to solve all this. Come on. <sighs> all right. Pack what you need and... Data pad, toothbrush, clean underwear, that'll do. I'll catch up with you. She's a handful, but she knows her stuff. You could use the help. Now for our new outpost. You have already logged an ideal site. Nav point noted. Updating Tempest. The Nexus is on pins and needles, Ryder. Pods are inbound and ready. Let's go make it happen.
It's weird to think that if we pull this off, everything we're looking at could change. EOS might finally match the Golden World brochures. I kept a few of those. It was hard to look at them after Site 2 failed. We'll get there. Pathfinder is enough to tip the balance.
That responsibility thing. It's about my sister, isn't it? Good sleuthing, Sherlock. Gold star. Your mouth's gonna get your ass in trouble. My mouth didn't drag a kid to Andromeda. Screw you, Costa. She had a choice. Some choice. Lose you or come here. Crazy how upbeat she is, considering. Stay out of my shit and don't talk to my sister. Pathfinder, I detect initiative equipment nearby. This researcher may have left data pads at other remnant sites as well. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Ahead. They appear to be fighting a Krogan. Is that... Drac? Good one! 
to thank for clearing up the sky. Had your number all wrong. You're not so bad yourself, old man. Maybe we should work together after all? This fight was pretty good, but you're still Nexus and green as a drill. Still, something tells me you've got potential. Be ashamed to waste that. I'm in. <laughs> Just point me to your ship and try to keep up. This is gonna be great. Shields are up! I'll take their fire! This is where we'll build our new outpost. A real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve. The Nexus doesn't get a say? Resources are at a crisis point. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. With current supplies, you could build a military outpost focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. What do you think? Military outpost or scientific? I say scientific. Aren't we here to explore? It's got to be science. Our colonists need to understand their home. Be advised that the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. Fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully. A military outpost. We defend our own against the cat, or anyone else. Orders prepped. Ready on your signal. Andromeda Initiative, this is Ryder, Pathfinder. EOS is ready for deployment. Copy that. Outpost blocked inbound. And ready as hell. August Bradley, operational head for this block. Mayor now, I suppose. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. It took a lot of people to get us this far. That's the work you'll continue. I hear that. Prodromos. That's what we're calling her. They're eager. I haven't seen eager for months. Eos is far from golden, but now it's defensible. Arguing that choice will come later. They think you did the impossible. The Nexus. I warned them, hoping was... irresponsible. You proved me wrong, Pathfinder. I appreciate your candor. We're all on the same side. I wouldn't go that far. The reality, Ryder? You brought us time. 
but one outpost on a long-shot planet won't stop us from starving. You already have a lead on something else? The nav point from the vault. Now it gets complicated. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed, but after failing for so long, no one agrees on how to do it. Be aware, that's all. We didn't come to a new galaxy to argue about who's right. It got us this far. Talk to Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until then. Tan's waiting on the Nexus.
Radiation levels increasing. Pathfinder. This area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. I like busting dunes, getting all six wheels off the ground. We're outfitted best we can be. This place is a strain on our gear, but so is everywhere else. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Radiation within safe levels. tougher in the long run. I heard someone rec This is where Chief Reynolds died. Sandstorms would have buried the body long ago. I suggest scanning. Creepy crawlers. Pathfinder, there is an armor piece buried deep. A leg bracer. Scan indicates tissue and bone fragments clinging to it. DNA identified as Chief Reynolds. Indications suggest his body was torn to pieces. So the Chief became Karkin food. Circle of life can be gruesome. The remaining armor will be scattered, or perhaps brought to a nest. The chest piece and his Omni tool may explain. We keep searching and scanning. Another armor piece, Chief Reynolds' helmet. The search continues.
Nice work. Pathfinder, the scan has picked up Chief Reynolds' chest piece, confirming single shot. Unable to determine weapon type, but entry point was at the back. Exit blast through the chest. By all accounts, Nilkin was in front of the Chief when he fired. So it wasn't his shot that killed him. The Chief's Omnitool might shed some light. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Pathfinder, the remnant have altered the landscape ahead. up additional armor scraps. I believe it's a trail leading to a cave nearby. Could be where the nest is located. Parking nest, all right. Fan out. Confirming initiative equipment, including Omnitool assigned to Security Chief Hiram Reynolds. If you power it up, I can Accessing data. The Chief was scanning at the time of death. The scan picked up two shots. One, a standard initiative rifle report, which missed. The other from behind, a Ket pulse weapon. This proves Nilkin is innocent. He didn't shoot Reynolds. Seems clear to me. Good work. Pathfinder, there is also an audio recording. Go ahead and play it. No! Where's Nilkin? Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. That sounds like... Confirming. Voice identified as suspect, Nilkin. So he did not kill the chief. But he meant to. Need another chat with the man. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface.
Someone left a warning. Looks like a work crew thinks they can take control of the remnant. That's a recipe for trouble. Work crew rosters are posted publicly. The data pad mentioned Med Bay. A little work, we could find where to catch up with them. Try chatting with some soldiers at Prodromos. They're a straight-faced bunch. The cat don't pull their punches. With colonists on the line, neither can we. Might divert some militia equipment to Prodromos. <laughs> Sam, another memory trigger? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Mayor Bradley. Pathfinder, good to see you. We're busy as anything thanks to you. A bit dusty, but we can adapt. It's worth it when it's your own. Make sure to keep a clear log of what you're doing. Well, let's save some bandwidth. Busted ass defeat initiative. Copy, paste, repeat. You go do what you need to on the Nexus. Follow that dot. There will be more to do on EOS later. Some key positions, Connor Supply, Ramirez Medical, Abram Science, Fawkes Engineering. With them and my major domo, we won't end up like site one and two. The first two outposts didn't have a chance. It was clear to everyone on the ground. I saw the brief. I'm making sure every one of our people is eyes wide. You changed this planet, but that doesn't make it easy. We'll use the efforts of those who went before. Good people, every last one. I'd have been honored to fail with any of them. I haven't reached the end of that trail, but not everyone died outright. Right. They tell me there were staggered evacs. If any want to try again, they're welcome. Oh, and Pathfinder, this is for you. It's our flag. Hang it where the Nexus can see. It's touched the soil of our first outpost in Andromeda. Make it real. <laughs> 